वी आर टेकिंग आर डी शर्मा सोल्यूशन क्लास टेन मैथ्स चैप्टर फोर्टीन एक्सरसाइज फोर्टीन पॉइंट टू सो वी हैव टू फाइंड द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन दीज पेयर लेट मी शो यू दैट दिस इज अ कार्टिशियन सिस्टम एंड इफ यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन दीज टू पॉइंट हाउ डू यू फाइंड द डिस्टेंस यू हैव टू फाइंड दिस डिस्टेंस इन देन वट डू यू डू से द कॉर्डिनेट ऑफ दिस वन इज एक्स वन वाई वन and the coordinate of this is x2 y2 let me join this so this one is x2 this is x1 this is y1 and this is y2 so what is this distance y2 minus y1 what is this distance x2 minus x1 means this one so what will be this distance if this is 90 degree we can use the pythagoras theorem so this distance will be equal to distance square will be equal to this one that is y2 minus y1 whole square plus this one x2 minus x1 whole square now take the root here so the distance will be or the distance between these two coordinates will always be x2 minus x1 whole square i am taking this here plus y2 minus y1 whole square Under root, so we'll follow the same thing. Let us take the first one. This is x one. This is y one. X two y two. So x two minus x one. That is minus one minus of minus six whole square plus minus five minus seven. That is y two minus y one. So minus five minus seven whole square and then under root. All under root. So I'll just put this here. Minus one minus of minus six. This minus minus become plus. So minus one plus six plus this minus five and minus seven is minus twelve. Six minus one is five. Five five is what? Twenty five. Five square is twenty five. Minus twelve whole square is one forty four. So this becomes one sixty nine and root is already there. So one sixty nine under root is thirteen. So the distance between them is thirteen. Let us take the next one. So this is x one. Y one, x two, y two. So x two minus x one that is a minus b minus a plus b, right? Plus y two minus y one. So c minus b minus b plus c whole square and under root whole. So this will be a minus b minus a minus b. This will be c minus b minus b plus c. A a cancels. This will be minus b minus b. That is minus two b minus two b whole square plus. This is uh, c. This is minus c. C c cancels. Minus b minus b is again minus two b whole square. Minus two b whole square is four b square. Minus two b whole square is four b square. Four b square plus four b square is eight b square. Take the under root. B square will come out. It is under root root eight. And eight can be written as four into two. That is four is two square into two. So under root of two square into two, two comes out. So two b under root two. This is the under this two b under root two b under root two is the answer. Now here we have a sine alpha. This is x one. This is y one. This is x two y two. So what we are going to do here is we can just subtract this. So minus a cos alpha, cos a or cos alpha whatever, minus a sine a, then b sine a minus b cos alpha minus of minus b cos alpha whole square. This will give you just square them. This square plus this square and plus because minus minus will become plus plus two into this one and this one. Here we have the square of these two. So this square plus this square minus two into this into this. So two into b sine a into minus b cos a. This will give you a square cos square alpha. This will give you a square sine square alpha. This is of course minus minus is plus. So two a square cos a sine a. Here you have b square sine square a. Here you have b square cos square a. So I am adding b square cos square a. And then this minus minus becomes plus. So plus two b sine a cos a. Okay, now let me combine these two. A square, a square. 
So a square if I take out, it will be cos square a plus sin square a that is going to be 1. Now I am combining these two, this one and this one. So if I take b square common that is cos square plus sin square alpha will be there and it is a sin square a plus cos square a this is going to be 1. So this will give you this will give you a square this will give you b square. Now how about this two? I am taking two cos a sin a common. So you will get a square from here and b square from here. So you have a square b square. Now you can take a square plus b square common from these two. So a square plus b square remaining will be 1 plus 2 cos a sin a this is the result. How about this one 0 minus a whole square plus b minus 0 whole square. So this is a square and this will be b square under root a square plus b square. Find the value of a when the distance between these two is under root 10. So what is the distance? This is x1, y1, x2, y2. So x2 minus x1 that is 4 minus 3 whole square plus 1 minus a whole square. This is going to be under root 10. This is going to be under root 10. Under root of this is under root 10. Now take root, take square both the sides. So root will go, go root will go. 4 minus 3 is 1, 1 square equal to so 1 square plus 1 minus a whole square equal to 10. This 1 will go here. 10 minus 1 is 9. So 1 minus a whole square is 9. So 1 minus a will be equal to plus minus under root 9. 1 minus a will be equal to plus minus under root 3. Means under root 9 is 3. 9 is 3 square. 3 square root is 3. That is why I wrote 3. So one time I will take 1 minus a equal to plus 3. And one, by one time I will take 1 minus a equal to minus 3. This will give you 1. This a will be equal to 1 minus 3 that is minus 2. Here a I am taking here. 3 here. 1 plus 3. So a will be 4. So this is the solution. This is how you have to do in your assignment copy or exam. If the points 2, 1 and 1, minus 2 are equidistant from point x, y, right? So we have to prove, just ignore this, we have to prove that x plus 3y equal to 0, right? This is x and this is y, so x plus 3y equal to 0 we have to prove. So let us take the distance first. We will take first these two. So x minus 2 whole square plus y minus 1 whole square. The distance is here under root. Just solve it. Just just solve it. You will get this one. Now take this one. x minus 1 whole square plus y minus of minus 2 that is y plus 2 whole square. So just solve this means just open it. So these two will come. Now just equate them because the distance are question. The question is that OR and this PR they are equal. So equate them. When we equate them you see x and square them. So root will go. x square x square cancels y square y square cancels only this will remain so when we resolve it you get x plus 3y equal to 0 this is what we have to solve find the value of x and y if the distance of the point x y from this as well as from this are 4 so let me just uh, solve it for you right let, let us solve it because we have already just uh, you know seen this question but the qu this question and next question is exactly same so i'm going to solve it for you Find the value of x and y if the distance of this from this as well as this is equal to 0. So let us take distance from these two. So x minus or minus 3 whole square plus y minus 0 whole square under root. This is the distance is 4. The second one is this one. So x minus 3 whole square plus y minus 0 is 4 or 4 4 so this will be x minus plus minus 3 that is, that is x plus 3 whole square plus this is y square I am taking square on both the sides so root will go 4 4 is 16 here also square on both the sides this will be 16 this is x minus 3 whole square plus y square now let me open it or what you can do here is the simplest thing is this is 16 this is 16 why not to equate both of these so x plus 3 whole square plus y square will be equal to x minus 3 whole square plus y square. This gets cancelled. Now x plus 3 x minus 3. When we have x plus 3 square equal to x minus 3 whole square, let us open it. x square plus 9 and plus 6x will be equal to this one. x square plus 9 minus minus 6x. 
So what do we get here? See, if I equate this y square y square will go. So I'm I will not be remaining with y. So what we will do we will do here is just let me open it first. That is x square plus nine plus this one plus two six x plus y square equal to sixteen. Let me take x square plus y square. This will be 16 minus 9 minus 6x. Now take this one. x square plus 9 minus 6x plus y square will be equal to 16. Now let us take x, plus, x square plus y square and others on right hand side. 16 minus 9 plus 6x. Right? Let us equate them. So here what do you get? One side you get this 7 because both the way the things are going to remain same either this way or either that way they are going to remain same so 16 minus 9 that is 7 minus 6x equal to this is again 7 plus 6x so now I'm cancelling this and bringing 6 here or bring 6x here this will be 6 plus 6 is 12 so you have 12x equal to 0 so x is what 0 x is going to be 0. Now let us put x equal to 0 in any of these equations. See here, here x is 0. So 0 plus y square equal to 7 minus 6 into 0. y square equal to 17. So y will be equal to plus minus 7 under root. This is the answer. y is plus minus under roots 7. x is 0. So this is all about this exercise, thank you so much, take care of yourself.